Hello, it is Mary and Mocha. And in this video, I am going to be telling you about the shows that I have been binge watching or just watching because most of these shows I just got over watching them. Before I get started, like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications to let you know whenever I post another video. With that being said, let's get into it. So the first show that I actually just finished yesterday is called Deception Lies. It is a TV drama. It's from Brazil. So the voices watching it where they speak English instead of their their language. It's kind of different. It's dark and emotional. It is a rated TVMA, so for mature audience. There's language nudity violence, I'm not going to say the other word, and smoking. So with the show, it is about a woman who gets pregnant and has twins, but the fathers are two different fathers, her husband and another gentleman. It is a, you sit back, I think it took me a week to watch it because the video, they're, any, they're 50 minutes, 58 minutes to basically an hour to watch. And if you have the version of Netflix, you will be having commercials on it, so. It is a good show to sit down and just watch if you want to get to, into some kind of serious program. The another one that I watched and it was it's a crazy thing. It's called The Man with a Thousand Kids. It's about a man who helps women that can't have babies. There's some reason why they can't have babies with the partner they have, or there are women that aren't with anyone that wants children. It is a British documentary series. There is language. It's a limited to series, but it's basically a story about these women that had children with this man, gentleman, and they find out that he's actually had more children than expected. So it is a bad thing because of the fact that if kids get together and they don't know their brother and sister or even cousins, it wouldn't be good. So it's a series about going over them, everything with them, and just letting the words come out to The next one I'm still trying to get into to watch is Suspense Cell, S-U-P-A-C-E-L-L. -L. It's a TV drama, British sci-fi TV. Basically what it's about is these people that have things that normal people don't have. Like one person can go back in time or the future and see what's happening. One person can run really fast. Another could hit the wall and break the machine. It's 
pretty interesting. The little bit. I'm still on the first episode, I think. No, I'm on the second episode. <laughs> and these are like an hour long also. But I find other things to watch and I get interested in those. Like, uh, Cobra Kai is coming out this month, I believe. Um, Sweet Tooth, I watched the whole thing in one day. Uh, I will find movies to watch, and one of the movies I watched was If, and that is a pretty interesting movie. It's on Paramount. Or peacock and the movie is about a little a girl who her dad is at the hospital and she's trying to figure out something to stay busy why her dad's in the hospital if is an imaginary friends so she took a job she didn't realize it until the end but she takes a job trying to help people get their imaginary friends back or find someone else to go with them. Um, let's see. A Family Affair is another movie that I watched and it has It's a romantic comedy movie, comedy movie, romantic movie. It has Nicole Kidman, Zac Efron, Joey King in the movie. And it's basically Zac Efron is a actor. What is her name? Liza Cush, I think is her name. Zac Efron's character falls in love with Nicole Kidman's character. And it's a sappy comedy. Uh, let's see. I wish Netflix had a thing where you could see the movies and series you'd watched. I started watching the Green Glove Gang and it's it's a because the second season's coming out on Wednesday when I watch it. It's a TVD TV comedy crime television TV show I'm only on the fourth episode I'm still trying to figure out what it's about so it's something if you watched it let me know if you liked it in the description so the TV shows or movies that are coming out. This waiting for Netflix coming this week that I can't wait for are Cobra Kai. I'm gonna watch Fill Me In, even though it's a movie. Sweet Home. Uh, the second. If I get through it, the second season of Glove Gang. Those are what I'm excited about coming out. I've also been watching um, 90 Day Fiance the other way and 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever. What else? There's one other thing that I've been watching with them. Watching, and I can't remember what it is. But also, 
this week coming up. Uh, Big Brother's going to be coming out, so I'll start watching Big Brother. Usually I just sit and binge watch TV shows, so many, that I can't remember them all. I also go through my Netflix and, not Netflix, YouTube, and watch all my normal YouTube creators. And when they, I'm done watching those, I'll go watch Netflix, draw, Discovery Plus, Peacock, see what's all on them. So I'm going to end this video here. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications so that you know whenever I post another video. With that being said, I hope you have a wonderful day or night whenever you watch this. Bye!